Hello guys and welcome to this series on Java server, Java server side programming. We'll be learning how to use servlet by developing uh, a Java servlet eShop uh, based on uh, a typical three tier client uh, web database application. And this is known as B2C uh, business uh, to consumer or business to client. Uh, our three-tier client server database application consists of five components. Uh, the first one is the HTTP client, uh, HTTP server, uh, database, uh, application, and uh, finally, uh, what you call the client application. Uh, well, this is the server-side application. Now, before we talk about all this uh, uh, and each of these components in details, I would like to look at this guy here and in particular speak about protocol. This is a, a very basic issue, very simple, uh, but uh, many people take it for granted. And I like to talk a little bit about, about this to be able to understand uh, how this works, all this diagram. So if we look here, uh, this is an airport. You can see already there is a language that personally me and I understand. Uh, and also, if you look here, there are two gentlemen there. This is one of them, and that's another guy. And probably they're looking for each other. And say this one is Greek, and uh, maybe this one is from Brazil. And uh, this one speaks Portuguese, no English, nothing else. And this guy speaks Greek, and so no English, nothing else. And if these two gentlemen want to speak with each other, we already know that the problem presents itself there. And since they, this guy only speaks uh, uh, Portuguese and he only speak Greek, and no one speaks uh, sign language, we will have a, uh, they will uh, have a major problem there. Now, uh, this is not really a pure protocol scenario there, but what, what I'd like to mention here that uh, these two gentlemen I do not speak the same language. Now, if you look here on this slide, this is the United Nation. And as you can see, this guy is casting a ballot using a paper. This guy is raising the hand, uh, as well as maybe most of these guys. Uh, here, maybe they cast a ballot pressing a button. And this guy knows how to use this. But also, these guys know how to use this. And they don't even know each other. So when you go to the United Nation, you must understand how things work. Uh, this is uh, what I mean by protocol. And people coming from different backgrounds, different countries, different languages, they can sit there, they can still sit and uh, uh, sort out major problem and major crisis in the world, uh, in health and politics and wars and famine and, and diseases and uh, for the well-being of everyone, hopefully. And, uh, and they know how to use these gadgets, and they know when to cast a ballot or when to raise a hand, and uh, many, many more complex issues there are than just this. So going back to this, now we know now that this is HTTP is called Hypertext Transfer Protocol. It is a protocol, meaning if a client speaks HTTP, if a browser knows HTTP, they all can communicate, they all can speak HTTP language. Now, what is HTTP? What is hypertransfer protocol? Well, HTTP is a set of rules defined under the W3C here. Now, before I speak about this, let me quick, briefly show you this. Uh, uh, let me show you this. And uh, if you look at this, and you look here, uh, and, and you look this here is a message. So a message under HTTP looks something like this. It is plain English, uh, and that's how it looks. So go back there. We'll come back to this uh, slide again. Go back in here. So under D W3C, the rules and the guidelines, how an HTTP protocol is, should be, is designed under W3C. And if we look in our model here, and the five component, one, two, three, four, five, uh, we know that this guy there, 
and this guy there have to speak the HTTP language, have to understand how to communicate. Now, how, how does the communication happen? Uh, it's very simple. In a, uh, a client, this is a computer, a gadget, a laptop, a box, a PC, and uh, on their own, they are useless. They do nothing. They are just piece of electronic, piece of hardware. And on there, you have a browser. And that browser speaks HTTP. And we call the browser a client. Uh, the client is not me, is not you, is the browser, is the application that speak HTTP uh, protocol. Oh. I can't speak HTTP. I know how to program HTTP. But uh, when I want to uh, use HTTP, I have to use a browser or some mean of uh, uh, communicating with a server. Now, uh, how does the communication happen? On this box again, it's another piece of hardware. It's a computer as well. It is sitting uh, maybe on your, maybe it's this machine as well. It can be on the same machine or it can be in a different building or it can be in the same room, a different box. Uh, on that machine, which is on its own is useless, there is a piece of software, code, software. And this piece of software was written by companies. Probably they want to generate income or they need it for their client or for their staff. Their, uh, something must motivate them to write this piece of software. Um, obviously, uh, uh, they went there uh, to the, uh, W3C and read all the manuals and the books and there are thousands of pages and understand exactly how HTTP server uh, and uh, HTTP, uh, sorry, protocol is needs to be designed. And uh, they sat down and uh, worked hard and designed it and designed uh, a server. Now, uh, this piece of software is designed by companies. And in our course here, we're going to use the piece of software called Tomcat. And Tomcat is designed by a company called Apache. And... Uh, uh, Topcat speaks HTTP language and understand HTTP language, but also under the protocol, Tomcat is designed as a server. And under the protocol uh, uh, in DW3C, they will uh, clearly define how a server should be designed. And Apache Tomcat is abiding by this rule. Now, HTTP, I believe, was designed by a Swiss guy in Switzerland. Uh, uh, I can't, I don't, I, I forgot the whole uh, story about why he designed the how. I think he was working at the university, I think. But anyway, but that's, that's why it was designed. And, um, and the server here. Now, what's important for us here, as, as far as we are concerned, is that this server here, not only it does speak uh, HTTP, uh, it does speak HTTP or, uh, or understand the protocol, uh, the HTTP protocol, but also Tomcat understand uh, uh, what you call servlet, uh, understand servlets. And servlets and are what we call Java servlet, Java, uh, Java servlet. And uh, a Java servlet are nothing but classes. Java servlet are nothing, a uh, servlet is a class. And Java servlets, uh, to become, uh, we call them servlets, so we distinguish them uh, as having a specific functionality defined by uh, the servlet uh, framework or the servlet uh, protocol, if you like. And um, now, uh, uh, and this is, for us, this is very important, and, the HD and Tomcat understand this uh, Java servlet, and we are going to explore the power of servlet and uh, by designing our eShop. Now Tomcat, uh, now how, how a message uh, uh, is transacted between a client and a, serv and, a, and, a serv and a server, this will be the topic of our next tutorial.